Yeah. Hello, I'm Nathalie Farpo Lambert from Geneva University Hospital. I'm a specialist in pediatrics and obesity, and I'm the president elect of EASO. I'm going to talk about the prevalence of obesity and its comorbidities, the causes of obesity, as well as the management of childhood obesity. I'm now going to present the management of childhood obesity. We know that childhood obesity is a worldwide problem, especially in developed countries, but also now in developing countries. In Europe, there is a trend toward increased prevalence of overweight and obesity in the southern part compared to the northern part. For example, in Spain, Portugal, Greece or Italy, more than 30% of children are overweight. Childhood obesity is associated with the premature development of chronic disease. We know that children with obesity may develop the first sign of cardiovascular disease. It has been shown that atherosclerosis may even develop before puberty. In addition, children with obesity may have an insulin resistance and show the first sign of type 2 diabetes during adolescence. We also know that childhood obesity is associated with respiratory problems like sleep apnea, gastrointestinal mm -hmm. problem like gallbladder and fatty liver disease, musculoskeletal problem such as sleep upper epiphysis or some pain, articular pain. Finally, we know that childhood obesity is associated with mental health disorders. Many children have de suffered from depression or anxiety disorders, especially in your adolescent, and it's associated with the stigmatization of obesity. The aim of the treatment of childhood obesity is first to improve the nutrition and physical activity habits of the whole family. The child lives in a family which lives in, in a global environment. So intervention has to focus on the family habits, but also on the environment to improve the treatment of childhood obesity. Children usually gain three to four kilos per year just because they are growing. So in overweight children, if we can reduce this weight gain maybe to two kilo, one kilo or nothing, that's the aim. And then the result is that the body mass index standard deviation score or percentile may reduce. Um, in reducing the BMI percentile, we aim to prevent or reduce childhood obesity complication. We also aim to improve the quality of life of the children and re reduce the stigmatization. There is now increasing evidence on the benefits of the treatment of childhood obesity. The last Cochrane review, including 64 randomized controlled trial, and concluded that the combined behavioral lifestyle intervention, including nutrition, physical activity, psych and psychological component, may produce significant and clinically meaningful reduction in overweight. So all management program for childhood obesity should be family-based and involve at least one of the parents but ideally all the family members. All programs should include a nutritional component, including counseling on a balanced diet, the fruit and vegetable intake, beverages and the promotion of water, as well as reading the labels and improving the choice of the product in the supermarket. The physical activity should be encouraged in all overweight and obese children, the sports usually must be adapted to their capacities. So severely obese children may need a special physical activity program to be able to participate to the lesson, but also to have fun. Finally, the psychological component is very important. As therapists, we need to motivate the children and the family to make changes. And it, as it's, it's very difficult to make changes in an obesogenic environment, physicians and healthcare workers need to 
put many effort in motivating and supporting the family. It's important to be empathic, not to compatibilize the family. Parents do what they can in the situation where they are. So, in order to be able to treat about 12 million of overweight children in Europe, we have to adapt the healthcare system. To date, many, um, many treatments rely on primary care physicians. But primary care physicians are not systematically trained on treating childhood obesity. So we need to develop large-scale educational program to improve the capacities as well as the, also the, the knowledge and, and the representation of obesity in healthcare workers. Physicians must be able to rely on trained nurses, psychologists, dietitians, physiotherapists, sports teacher, social worker, as well as medical assistants. So we have to take into account all these professions in uh, this educational program. And then, as a result, the healthcare workers should be able to improve the education and motivation of the family with an over overweight child, as, and then the quality of care and the prevention in very young children. We need also to have a good surveillance system of childhood obesity to be able to monitor changes at a European level. Finally, we need to evaluate intervention when we develop a large-scale large management obesity program, we need to know if it works or not, or if there are some limitations for implementing such program. The European Association for the Study of Obesity aims to develop a large-scale European educational program for healthcare professionals. It aims also to provide the correct information to parents and children on obesity and its treatment. That's why we have developed a practical guide for the parents of overweight children, including all information about nutrition, physical activity, and motivation. In conclusion, childhood obesity should be detected early, and the treatment is essential in order to prevent the premature development of complications. Special centers should be set up for the treatment of severe obesity with complication. Otherwise, obesity should be treated in the primary care setting. There are some limitations to, to the treatment. The lack of personal resource, the lack of training and time of healthcare professional, the distance from the family to go to the center, the availability and motivation of parents, as well as the obesogenic environment. So we have to work on this limitation to improve the treatment of obesity in Europe. There is a need for specialist education of healthcare workers. And if we lack some personal resource, we have to focus on the group at risk. The population with a low socioeconomic status, young children, as well as children born in a family with a history of obesity, especially obesity during pregnancy should be um, taken into, uh, into account. Finally, childhood obesity should be considered as a chronic disease as itself and not only a gateway to non-communicable disease. All children should benefit of care.